Namaste everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we explore the delightful world of cooking. Today, I have an absolute treat for you all, the classic and mouth-watering gulab jamun. This irresistible Indian sweet is a favorite at festivals, parties, and weddings. So, get your aprons on and let's dive right into this delicious recipe. Before we get started, let's quickly go through the ingredients you'll need for making gulab jamun at home. Don't worry, all the ingredients are easily available in your local grocery stores. Ingredients 1 cup of milk powder 1 half cup of all-purpose flour 2 tablespoons of ghee, clarified butter A pinch of baking soda 2 to 3 tablespoons of milk, as required Oil or ghee for frying With our ingredients ready, let's jump right into the step-by-step -step process of making these delectable gulab jamun. Step 1. Making the dough in a mixing bowl, add the milk powder, all-purpose flour, and a pinch of baking soda. Mix them together until well combined. Now, add the ghee to the dry mixture and mix it in with your fingers until the mixture resembles breadcrumbs. This will give the gulab jamuns a melt-in-your-mouth texture. Next, gradually add milk to the mixture while kneading it gently. Add just enough milk to form a soft and smooth dough. Remember not to over knead the dough, as it can make the gulab jamuns tense. Step 2. Shaping the gulab jamuns. Once the dough is ready, let's move on to shaping the gulab jamuns. Take small portions of the dough and roll them between your palms to form smooth balls. Make sure there are no cracks on the surface. You can adjust the size of the gulab jamuns as per your preference. Traditionally, they are about the size of small marbles. Step 3. Frying the gulab jamuns. Now, let's fry these heavenly treats. Heat oil or ghee in a deep pan or kadai over medium heat. Ensure that the oil is not too hot, as it can brown the gulab jamuns quickly without cooking them inside. Gently drop the prepared gulab jamuns into the hot oil, a few at a time, and fry them until they turn golden brown. Stir occasionally for even cooking. Once they are perfectly cooked, take them out using a slotted spoon and drain the excess oil by placing them on a paper towel. Step 4. Preparing the sugar syrup. Now, it's time to prepare the sweet and fragrant sugar syrup, which gives gulab jamuns their characteristic flavor. In a separate saucepan, combine 2 cups of water and 2 cups of sugar. Place the saucepan over medium heat and stir until the sugar dissolves completely. You can also add a few crushed cardamom pods or a dash of rose water for extra flavor. Once the sugar has dissolved, let the syrup come to a gentle boil. Allow it to simmer for about 5 minutes until it slightly thickens. Step 5. Soaking the gulab jamuns. Finally, it's time to immerse our delicious gulab jamuns in the sugar syrup, allowing them to soak up all that sweetness. Gently place the fried gulab jamuns into the warm sugar syrup. Make sure all the gulab jamuns are fully submerged. Let them soak in the syrup for at least 30 minutes to an hour. The longer they soak, the softer and more flavorful they become. Step 6. Serving and enjoying. Once the gulab jamuns have soaked well, they are ready to be served. You can serve them warm or at room temperature. Garnish your gulab jamuns with a sprinkle of crushed pistachios or almond slivers for an added touch of elegance. And there you have it. Homemade gulab jamuns, ready to be served. These soft, syrup soaked delights are sure to be a hit among your family and friends. I hope you enjoyed this step by step tutorial on how to make gulab jamuns. Give this recipe a try and let me know how it turns out for you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest recipes. Until next time, happy cooking!